Once upon a time, had it not been for that time, there wouldn't be a story to tell. There lived a king and a queen, and they were both young and beautiful. On one winter's day, as the snow was falling from the endless sky in big fluffy snowflakes, the queen happened to be sewing by a window with an ebony black sill. And as she was sewing and watching the snowflakes dancing outside, she pricked her finger with the needle. Three big drops of blood then fell on the pristine carpet of snow. And because the red drops looked so beautiful on the white snow, the queen said to herself, I would give anything to have a girl with a face as white as snow, with lips as red as blood, and with hair as black as ebony. After a short while, the queen gave birth to a girl who looked exactly as she had wished. She had a face as white as snow, a mouth as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. And her parents named her Snow White. But not long after that, the queen unfortunately died, and... A year later, the king remarried. The new queen was very beautiful, but also very arrogant. She would not allow anyone to be more beautiful than her. The queen had a magic mirror, and every time she looked at it, she asked it the following. Come forth as I call, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? I heed your call, my lady, you are the fairest of them all. The queen would smile with satisfaction <laughs> because she knew that the mirror only spoke the truth. But Snow White was growing more and more beautiful with every passing day, just like a ray of sunshine. And one day, the queen asked the mirror... Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? My lady, you are as fair as a sunny day. But now Snow White is truly the fairest of them all. On hearing these words, the queen became full of spite and couldn't find her peace day or night. Eventually, she Sorry. called a loyal servant and ordered him. Go get Snow White and take her somewhere far away in the dark forest and make her vanish forever. I can't stand to have her before my eyes any longer. The servant took Snow White to a big forest on the outskirts of the kingdom and left her to her fate in the middle of the forest. However, the servant took pity on her and gave her this advice. Please run and hide, dear girl, and stay away from the wild beasts that roam the forest. Avoid any danger. The servant left, and the poor child was left alone in the endless forest. She looked at the multitude of trees and leaves whose strange shadows were covering the ground. And because she was frightened, she started running as fast as her legs could carry her. She ran for a long time until she reached a very quaint little house where she went in to rest. In the house, all the objects were so small and delicate that they were a delight to look at. On a table covered with a white tablecloth, there were seven small plates, and next to each plate there was a small spoon, a small fork, and a small silver cup. Seven little beds with sheets as white as snow were arranged by the side of a wall. As she was very hungry and thirsty, Snow White took a small bite from each plate, ate a few crumbs from each slice of bread, and took a <laughs> sip out of every cup because she did not want to eat all the food of one of the house's residents. Feeling very tired, Snow White tried to go to sleep, but none of the beds were big enough for her. One was too long, one was too short, and only the last bed appeared to fit her. Snow White got into bed and fell asleep. When it grew dark outside, the masters of the house returned. They were the seven dwarves that used to dig for gold and other metals deep within the mountains. They lit seven candles and when they could see again, they realized that a stranger had been in their house. <clears throat> Who was sitting in my chair? Who ate from my plate? Who took a bite out of my bread? Who's the person that used my fork? Who drank from my cup? Who was sleeping in my bed? Someone has also been in my bed. And in mine too. But when the seventh dwarf approached his bed, he saw Snow White fast asleep in it. The seven this dwarves were so amazed beautiful. by the unwanted Hope guest who was be. now sleeping in we their house. We should let her rest for now. The dwarves allowed her to continue sleeping in the bed, and the seventh dwarf slept for an hour in each of the other dwarves' beds. In the morning, Snow White opened her eyes, and when she saw the seven dwarves, she became very frightened. <laughs> Yay! What's your name, my girl? Uh, I'm Snow White. 
right. How did you come to be in our little house? Then Snow White told them everything. If you want, you can stay with us and help us with the house chores, and we promise that you will have everything you need. I accept wholeheartedly. And so Snow White stayed with the dwarves, taking care of the house for them. Meanwhile, convinced that she was again the most beautiful woman in the world, the queen asked the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the fairest of them all? My lady, you are as fair as a sunny day, but somewhere deep within the mountains, Snow White, who is living with the seven dwarves, is truly the fairest of them mm. all. The queen realized that Snow White had survived in the endless forest. <gasps> So she started to look for new ways to get rid of her. Eventually, she painted her face so that it looked like that of an old woman, and she dressed in such a way that no one would be able to recognize her. She crafted a poisoned comb and followed the long road over the seven mountains until she finally reached the door of the house of the seven dwarves. For sale, beautiful wares for sale. Be on your way, old lady. I am not allowed to let anyone into the house. But are you not allowed to look either? The disguised queen took out the poisoned comb and showed it to the girl. Snow White liked the comb so much that she opened the door and invited the little old lady into the house. The old woman enticed the girl with crafty words. Let me comb your hair, sweet girl, so that it looks as beautiful as it should. Poor Snow White didn't suspect a thing and let her hair be combed. But as soon as the old woman put the comb in her hair, the poison started to affect her, and the poor child fell into a deep sleep. Now you've met your end, the fairest of them all. The queen hurried into the forest to get far away from the house, and she was extremely happy that her plan had worked. But the girl was lucky that once night fell, the seven dwarves returned home. As soon as they saw Snow White, they suspected that the queen had planned all of it. They looked over the girl carefully and discovered the comb in her hair. The dwarves pulled the comb from her hair, and Snow White once again regained her consciousness as if she had only been sleeping for a little while. In the morning, the dwarves advised Snow White to be careful and not to open the door to anyone else, and after that, they left for work. Meanwhile, the queen arrived at the palace, and sitting in front of the mirror, she hurried to ask it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the fairest of them all? I heed your call, my lady. You are as fair as a sunny day, but somewhere deep within the mountains, Snow White, who is living with the seven dwarves, is truly the fairest of them all. Upon hearing that, the queen started trembling with indignation. She then went into a small room and crafted a poisoned apple. <laughs> At first sight, the apple was beautiful, half of it as white as milk, and the other half was red and poisonous. Whoever bit into the apple would fall into an immediate deep sleep. The queen dressed up again as an old woman and followed the same road over the seven mountains to reach the house of the seven dwarves. She knocked at the door, but Snow White poked her head out of the window and said, I can't let anyone come in. The dwarves will not allow it. No matter. I'll sell the apples to someone else. But in the meantime, take an apple as a gift from me. No, please don't, as I won't take it. I'm not allowed to. Are you afraid it might be poisoned? How about this? I'll cut the apple in two, and you can have this red part while I eat the other half, fair? Snow White wanted to take a bite out of the apple, and seeing the old lady bite from one side, she put her hand out of the window and took the poison side. But as soon as she bit into the apple, she collapsed and fell into a deep sleep. The queen hurried to return to the palace, and when she got there, she asked the mirror again. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the fairest of them all? My lady, you are the fairest of them all. Only then was the evil queen truly satisfied, believing that from that moment on, nobody could ever be more beautiful than her. The dwarves returned home in the evening and found Snow White on the floor. For three days, the dwarves cried and were devastated that they hadn't been able to protect Snow White. The dwarves, seeing that Snow White's cheeks were flushed, decided to take her to the top of a mountain and lay her on a rock so that all those who went past could see her beauty. 
At some point, a prince happened to pass by and saw Snow White in all her beauty. The prince fell immediately in love with her and asked the dwarves, Let me take this girl from the top of the mountain and I will give you everything you want in exchange. We won't give her to you for all the gold in the world! And take pity on me. Ever since I saw Snow White, I fell in love with her, and I can't let another day go by without seeing her face. Upon hearing those words, the dwarves decided to let the prince take Snow White to his castle. During the journey home, one of the prince's servants stumbled, and the jolt caused the piece of apple that Snow White had swallowed to dislodge itself from her throat. She opened her eyes as if she had woken up from a deep sleep, and asked the young prince confusedly, the prince approached her and told her everything that had happened. You are more <clears throat> dear to me than anything else in this world, and if you agree to marry me, we will go right now to my father's court. Snow White happily agreed to be his wife, and they left together for the king's court. And they had a big wedding that was attended by guests from all over the world. The evil queen was also invited, after she chose her most elegant gown, she approached the mirror and asked it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the fairest of them all? My lady, you are as fair as a sunny day, but the young princess is truly the fairest of them all. On hearing this, the queen became so frightened that she didn't know what to do next. As soon as she stepped into the throne room, she recognized Snow White. She froze in place with fear. From that day on, the queen became older and older, and as the years went by, she became so ugly that she didn't dare to look into the magic mirror anymore. And so, Snow White lived happily ever after with the young prince. <laughs>